so Sacramento will get the first possession. Here's Jeter. Cousins with a screen on Fisher. Here's Jeter. He's covered by Fisher. Four on the shot clock. Shoots from 12. The shot's good from Evans. Evans has got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Kings. We're talking about the Kings, actually, Steve, the worst home record in the entire league. Isn't that amazing? When you think back a few years ago, and Sacramento was generally regarded as the toughest venue in the NBA. But uh, times have changed. Sacramento in a downturn, and they're trying to turn things around now. One way to do that is to take care of your home floor. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sideline. Kevin, Mike Brown and I shared a few moments. When I asked him where they might have an advantage today, he said, we've got the shot blockers to make things very hard on them when they bring it into the paint. And that's what we plan to do. Gentlemen. Thanks, Doris. Uh, well, guys, give us your thoughts on that. Well, you know what? I think the game plan for a lot of teams, really good teams, starts with good D. So it's pretty much what I expected to hear. And for this club, that's the way it should be. I mean, they need to send a message defensively right away. Uh, when you take it to your opponents on the defensive end of the floor, it sets the tone early. And here is Cousins. Second chance shot. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. I thought Gasol got off to such a fast start last season, but he, he might have worn down as the season went on. He was asked to play big minutes, especially early when Andrew Bynum was out with the injury. Open look. Short, but good off the ice. You know, taking it to the rim against such a smaller defender is, is usually going to work out just fine. And then, of course, uh, for Paul Gasol in the playoffs, a lot of disappointment with his play, Clark. Uh, game in factor two where he even got booed at the Staples Center. Yeah, you never like to see that, but he clearly did struggle in the playoffs, and he's extremely gifted, but some have tended to try to question his mental toughness or killer instinct, and I quite honestly think it's unfair. He's got a disposition and demeanor that lends itself to that kind of criticism, but anytime you can perform the way he has, that's impressive, and it actually 